3,030 years ago, a mermaid dwelt on Dwefir Reef, known to all and loathed by none, called by dolphins, Iki oit oit, by jellyfish, Huhufara, Shiokoi in the human tongue. Shiokoi danced among the corals, cavorted with the horseshoe crabs, sweetly shimmied with the shad, dug hunks of dirt with dugongs, slept in seaweed, dozed in kelp. But after such a frolic fest, her hair became a matted nest of tiny uninvited guests. Stinging mites and parasites lice the size of grains of rice. Burrowing baby barnacles, concatenations of crabs, obtuse oval anemone eggs, showy shiny-shelled shrimp, hungry hopeful ropes of salps. Her fingers wrangled with the tangle, but the knots were not unknotted. Snags and snarls marred her curls, but mermaid hair is live and feeling, it fears and shuns the knives and scissors. Called the mermaid to the deep ones, called to her ancestral parents in the ocean mother tongue, voice of churning waves and gurgles, slips and sloshes, wishes, washes. O Ilmatar, ocean mother, O bearded strasha in your cave, lend me now advice and succor about these tangled, snarled strands. How may I quash this nappy lope? Shiokoi, said her patient mother, your hair is perfect in appearance. You don't need to preen or primp. Keep for friends those who revere you. Ignore the hollow, shallow masses. Shiokoi vented her vexation. This is not for friends or masses. Wordy balms on my frustration do not cure my situation nor rid me of my cake of dreads.